Now to the world of media. Viacom is up 1.3% reporting earnings later this week. One of its units, though, is Viacom's MTV. Under the leadership of Chris McCarthy, it's boosted revenue growth and posted higher ratings. Earlier today, we sat down with McCarthy, who's the president of not just MTV, but also VH1, Logo and CMT as well. You know, our secret is we're leaning back into our strengths. You know, we have an incredible brand uh, with 95% brand awareness. We have one of the largest libraries of youth and music IP uh, in the history of television. And, uh, and we have a creative culture uh, that is one of the best in terms of storytelling. And we leaned back into that about uh, two years ago when I took over and, uh, and really uh, turned the ship around rather quickly. We reversed a five-year rating decline in just eight months. And today, we're actually leading the industry in growth. Now, at one point, you had real sway among the younger demographic. I imagine you would say you still do. But particularly coming up to elections and election cycles, we're starting a new presidential election cycle now. What does MTV plan on doing to talk to that younger demographic? Well, we talk to the younger demographic across every platform. In fact, we're number one on cable. We're number one in digital and social. And we're up double and triple digits across every platform. Uh, and specific to the actual election, we introduced a whole new campaign this past summer uh, called Plus One the Vote. And it goes into this idea of of, uh, young people uh, celebrate things together. Uh, they're always connected. They're always uh, talking to each other. And so we wanted to change the dynamic. Uh, and instead of registering to vote, which everybody's doing, we want to introduce this concept of bring somebody to uh, the polling stations with you. And so we hosted parties around the country. And, uh, and we were credited with driving a 20% increase, actually, with, um, with young people bringing people to the polls. You're putting resources and energy in it. MTV Studios, you recently hired the head of the Lego Studios, for example, to, to beef that staffing up. What do you plan on doing with MTV Studios for different platforms? You know, young people are consuming content on every platform. It's no longer either or. It's all about more. You know, we're growing on cable. In fact, we're the fastest growing in cable. Uh, we have the biggest, and low, uh, biggest social and digital platform. And with MTV Studios, we're going to be opening up our library of IP uh, to create content for our streaming partners and turning what was, was our perceived uh, competitors into our new customers. In fact, we just bought out uh, Real World to reinvent it for a whole new generation. In fact, Real World was the first uh, unscripted series in the history TV, created the genre. And um, we brought that out to market, and we quickly had a bidding war, and we're excited that we're going to actually be doing three uh, new seasons all at the same time uh, with our partners at Facebook. So licensing to streaming providers is becoming a huge thing. How are you going to optimize you know, partnerships with the likes of Facebook, Facebook Watch, Amazon Prime, Hulu, and um, will you have partnerships with everybody? That's our goal, and we're talking to, uh, to every one of the streaming partners today. We have projects uh, in active discussion and in development, and for us, it's all upside. You know, we can grow on the digital platform, we can grow on our cable platform, and the streaming platform just provides us all new revenue opportunity, something that, quite honestly, didn't exist a few years ago, and as their need for content is insatiable, uh, we have this large library of IP, which we're only tapping 5% uh, of it, so we have 95% more to go. Which brings us to the conversation about, you know, legacy media, traditional cable, the skinny bundle. Do you envisage it being there in 10 years' time? You know, I think the need for content is never going to change. We look at the last 10 years, consumers are spending two-thirds of their waking hours consuming content. That's up from one-third just about 10 years ago. And the need for content is never going to stop. But the need for great content is something that we provide, and we do it in a, in a unique and special way. Uh, today, we have 19 of the top 25 series. And and so we think that regardless of the platform and where it goes, the need for content is never going to change. And nobody does that like we do. So if we're just going to get more and more and more content, does the quality come down? Are we going to get more and more unscripted reality TV series, more Floribama Shores? Well, you know, it's, a, it's an interesting question. I've been in the industry for about 15 years. And, you know, there certainly is uh, an incredible amount of content. And the need to break through is, is actually different. Our skill as storytellers has changed. Uh, we need to to reach inside a consumer and create uh, create that demand and unlock a passion point that they didn't know. You take an example, uh, Floribama Shore. You know, we launched that show using the Shore IP, uh, and the honest, the truth is, it had nothing to do with Jersey Shore, but we used that Shore IP to bring consumers in, and it was the number three uh, biggest uh, series of all last year. In fact, we've been using those Shore IPs to launch shores around the world. We have about seven shores around the globe. So that's the thing. Does MTV eventually just become a brand? 
land that's licensed out and that maybe also plays on a, on a regular bundle. Is that the future of, of a channel like MTV? Our, our future stays, stays the same as it is today, which is to be a really strong brand. We have 95% brand awareness, this incredible IP and, and unique storytellers, you know. And when you think about, I know it's, it's a little different to think about um, television IP as, as true IP, but IP is fl uh, platform agnostic. And, uh, and that's where we see huge opportunity. You see it happening in the film industry, uh, you know, whether it's Black Panther or Mission Impossible or the Avengers. The film industry has been reinventing their IP and franchising that, and that's uh, what's making them thrive. And it's a new concept for the TV side of it, but it's one that leads into our strengths.